Hello, hello, and welcome to the Tower of Portal. Uh, the Tower of Portal is a little indie FPS shooter where you control a soldier with a mission to destroy the AI central computer that controls the machine spreads in the city. Your mission is to avoid this domination through the machines. Yeah, that's a bit of a oddly worded description, but uh, yeah, I just ran into this on Steam. It is $2.95. Um, it doesn't have any reviews yet, yet it released like... I think it was like February 19, so it's sort of unfortunate to see any game with no reviews, but considering the price, my expectations are low. Uh, you know, it might be fun, just uh, I'm putting myself as uh, low expectations, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it actually looked okay, like I didn't mind the uh, sort of, I don't know, futuristic look, I guess you could say to it. But yeah, I guess we just jump in, no story or anything to... I mean, I guess the setup's in the description, maybe? Okay. Can we... Interesting gun. Okay, you, you can't... If you hold it, it doesn't actually work. You gotta click every time, which... is a little strange. Alright. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Is this health or something? No? Maybe? Oh, it's really weird. It's like... It's almost like you're meant to be able to hold it in, but you can't... Like, what's with the gun doing this? Okay, that is health, apparently. Uh... Yeah, I guess we're just, like, clearing through. Okay, anything back here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Uh, is there any other... Is there a menu? There does not seem to be a menu. Okay, I was gonna check if there was any other controls, but... Well, we can jump. And we can sprint. Alright, I guess that's something. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I really wish you could hold this down. It feels super weird. Oh, and now we're out of ammo. Uh, how do we get more ammo? Seriously, how, how do I get more ammo? Are you ammo? You sort of look like ammo. I doubt, I don't think you're ammo. <laughs> uh, we don't seem to have another weapon. Alright, I guess we just gotta run. I mean... Is this ammo? Okay, there it is. Okay. Uh, it seems like you get a little bit stuck without ammo. But, alright, we'll continue on. I, uh, I'm assuming already this is gonna be quite a short game. Maybe someone's first attempt at a game or something? Like, it's very simple, there's no animations for them getting destroyed or anything, like... Uh, but I will say... I quite like the vibe, at least, you know, like the uh, sort of cityscape and the music and stuff, like sort of futuristic look to it. You know, I, I don't mind that actually, being like we're going on the highway and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how to judge this game yet. These, this is one of those ones where, depending on the developer and intent behind it, it's like, I would judge it very differently. Like, if this was someone's first attempt at a game, you know, made by one person, they managed to get it on Steam, then, you know, I'd give it some praise, like, you know, like, you know, well done for completing anything and getting it out there. On the other hand, you never know when it's like someone attempting, like, a cash grab with generic assets or something, like, I'm not familiar with a lot of this stuff, it's just, you know, some, and that's one problem for me, like, I, I don't know when things are, you know, just reused assets and stuff. So... Yeah, I guess I just have to just judge it more. Well, it is best to just judge it on its merits regardless, you know, of uh, that. But I, I definitely would sort of, um, I suppose criticisms would remain, anything constructive would remain the same, but my judgment overall would change a lot depending on, you know, the development behind it sort of thing. It's always hard to judge with some of the random stuff you find on Steam, but I've been enjoying just grabbing random stuff that's newly released or doesn't have many reviews and stuff like that. It's always good to see um, what people are up to and some of these games just, it's like, as I said, um, even though seeing a bit more of it now, there is a lot of simplicity, like having no animations on these. Um, it does always seem unfortunate seeing something released on Steam that has no reviews, so, you know, we'll see how we go with it. Oh, we've got a new enemy. The enemies are quite fitting, I think. I just don't know if they're uh, unique or not. Because the, the lack of an animation is sort of unfortunate. Um, it would also be good if there was some more weapons. 
this uh, needing to constantly click, it's, it's really weird. Like, you can do it fast, but it's like, it doesn't seem quite right. There's no iron sights. Yeah, like, you just, this is, uh, yeah, if I hold in, it just does this, which is like, you can, re you can rapid fire if you click fast enough, but, yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Hopefully we can get some more ammo somewhere here. We haven't ran out again, but we're not doing that great on it. I assume you're not meant to miss too often based on our supply, which uh, I guess we're doing okay. Um, any ammo over here? Oop, all right, now it's run time. Run and search for ammo. Okay, we don't want to go there yet. Oh, wasn't noticing we actually do have a stamina meter. That's uh, something to keep an eye on while trying to find ammo. Uh, where are we at? Alright, there's some. Wait, yes? Is that health? No, that's ammo. Good. Okay. I'm not sure about... That looked like a level thing. It said level 1, didn't it, or something? No, let's check here before we move on, I guess. Get you down. Is there one more? Oh, there's two more here. Okay, we won't be having much ammo left again. Probably could use a heal too. There's not a lot of options for dodging these other than just continually moving to a direction. Okay, yeah, well, this said level, didn't it? So. Okay. I don't know. Because we can go that way still. Is this something we need to turn off? I don't know. Oop, gun through the wall. Okay, I assume that'll kill us. Hmm, I think we'll go this way first. Although that seems to go... Can we jump up on here? Get some... No, not really. Is that because I'm hitting something or is it... Yeah, okay, can't do that. Um... Yeah, I'm a bit confused. It's... The reason I'm uh, hesitant to go that way is just I don't want to die and get reset to the start or something. Like, I don't know how that works. Uh, I guess we'll just keep going this way for the minute. Okay, it looks like there's stuff over there you can't get to, so... Might, yeah, our ammo supply is not doing well, is it? No, nope, there's something there. I'm not sure what it is, but... I don't know, maybe we will have to go that way. We don't have any ammo left. Yeah, this expands off a few directions. Oh, okay. Oh, there's some ammo. You know if we just keep, like, running? Okay, we're probably gonna die, actually. Need some health. And hopefully not miss. Yeah, it's a little hard to dodge them. I guess keeping some distance is probably... Oh, damn. The gun doesn't have a great distance on it, does it? We wasted a few shots there. Oh, shit. We're, like, way closer to death than I was... I should really be paying attention to that. Okay, I think this one was health. And there's more ammo there, so that's good. Okay, this may actually come to a dead end here. I thought it stretched on. So maybe we will have to go back to where we was. Oh, there's a green thingy here. Okay. Like that pink one from that other spot. So maybe we are meant to get these, or do something. Do we just destroy it, maybe? No? Oh. Okay. Oh, it's up the top. Oh, okay. Don't know if it does anything, but... It's weird that it didn't... You know, I don't even know how I grabbed it. Anyway, I guess there was purpose to this. Not quite sure what the purpose is, but... It seems like progress. <laughs> uh, I guess there's three of them to collect, or... I really don't know what's going on, honestly. And we went... Yeah, there's nothing more that way. And I don't see how we actually get over that way. Because that was blocked off. Um, yeah, we definitely couldn't get through here, right? Okay. I guess we'll head back this way. Oh, wait, we can go this way, can't we? And I'm going to sprint, because we don't have a ton of ammo. I don't know if that's the best option, but... 
We'll take out the ones we need to, I suppose. Oh, crap. I think that wasted ammo. Because they're like packs of 100, and I picked it up when I still had over 50. So that's unfortunate, with how little we actually have. As long as we can survive, though, I guess that's fine. Okay. Uh, nothing here? Alright. I'm guessing this must wrap around or something. Yeah, we're getting a fair way away from that level 1 thingy. I just don't know what that was. I guess, uh... We can always just circle back if we clear everything, or... Uh, is that... Okay, that's ammo, right? Yeah. So we want to make sure we have 50 before we actually grab those. Or 50 or less, I should say. I think we can avoid the hits actually okay on these as long as we keep uh, moving to one direction. Not perfect, but... Yeah, still taking a few hits. <laughs> I think it works better with the flying ones. Okay, let's get this. Do we... Oh, you press E. I didn't see that little hover. I did press E the last one, but I didn't think it was when it actually grabbed it. Oh, shit, shit. Need a bit closer. I wish the gun had a bit more range. And that thingy ammo is here, right? Yeah, let's grab that. Yeah, certainly a lot of uh, reuse of assets over and over, so... I don't know if they're unique or not. Maybe they are, and that's why there's not that many of them that are re reused, or... I mean, for all I know, this is just some, you know, future city pack for Unity or something, you know, I'm, I haven't uh, played enough or, you know, seen enough to really know for certain. And not that that you know, necessarily matters. You can certainly do plenty of good stuff with them. This is obviously a very basic game. Um, you know, there's not even, like, I feel like... I, I will say one more... I was, like, so... Oh, mix up some words there. I would say one more, like, um, harsher criticism I would have, regardless of the development behind it, um, is that there was no text whatsoever at the start, which is not really a good thing, you know? Like, you shouldn't have your setup be um, in the Steam description. Like, I would say that's a, a big red flag to me. Like, there should, like, yeah. Because otherwise, well, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much uh, speaks for itself, doesn't it? Like, I don't think I need to elaborate on that. You really shouldn't find yourself where you need to learn the setup from the Steam description of all things, you know? Like, yeah. I don't think that needs elaboration. Uh, we'll grab that in a second. Nothing there. Oh, okay, just a lamp. <laughs> Probably should have known that. Oh, that looked weird. Did that just go dark or just look that way? Because I was... Okay, just the way I was looking at it. It was like the screen went black around it or something. And, oh, okay, fire off a couple more and then we can... Oh, man. Getting some misses, aren't I? It would be good if those had animations. Like, that's probably the clunkiest thing about it, other than the gun getting this weird... Yeah. It, it really seems like you're meant to be able to hold it in. But for some reason... Which, uh, oh god, this is probably a very clicky video, isn't it? The clicks tend to come through on this mic a lot. I may or may not filter them. I sometimes do, but I often forget. I don't know how much it bothers people, like... Like, I know I've watched a lot of YouTubers over the years where you can always hear the clicks, and it's not something that ever worried me at all. It, it's just, you know. Um, but I can imagine it bothering some people, so I don't know. Don't really have enough feedback on it yet to know for certain. Um, and yeah, it looks like we missed one. So, could that be in that level one building, or... Did we miss a turn somewhere? I don't know. I guess we just track back. So I did see... There was some enemy somewhere across the way. Um, that's where the pink one was. I assume we don't have a map. No, that's a bit too much to hope for, I think. Um, yeah, so I think, um, yeah, just back to what I said, like, if this was, like, one person first game and that kind of stuff, which, you know, good stuff. Oh, apparently missed some health. Okay. 
um, you know, if it was the first game and all that stuff, like that's where I'm, I'd be a lot lighter on stuff. But I do think the lack of any text is, is a big one. Like, you don't, it doesn't take much to do just some generic, you know, it doesn't, no voice, no nothing, just some generic text to start up and set the premise sort of thing, like a more elaborated sort of couple paragraph version of the Steam description, you know? Like that's something that you can do super low effort and it sets you up and it can be all you need for a game that is intended to be more combat oriented, but without that it's like, yeah, it's, it's a lot more mixed to me. Uh, I am assuming it's going to be in there, so let's go back there. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't think there's really much more to say on it. I think you can really see all it has to offer. Um, but I said, I do like the vibe of it, you know, I don't think that the idea here is bad. I think that this sort of out in the night city thing got that sort of, I don't know what, I don't know what you call this music, but I like it. You know, I think you could do something with that. It's just, uh, yeah. As I said, I, I always feel so mixed on ones like this because I don't know how to, like there's things like I said, like the text, I think that's just either way, but you know, depending on if this was someone trying to cash grab versus someone putting their first game together and stuff, it's like, yeah, it, it does make a big difference for me. Because I just, I just have respect for anyone who makes something and completes it and, you know, puts himself out there, you know, it's always good stuff. So, you know, I'm taking it with a grain of salt until I learn anything more. I assume we just have to try and jump these, like, they seem awfully fast, so I don't actually know how that's going to go. Okay, they just teleport us. We don't die. That helps. Uh, they're still rather fast, though. Like, this is... This should be slowed down slightly. Getting through this seems extremely awkward. Like, it's not just a timing thing. It's like... Well, it is timing, but... It seems like... Hmm. I don't really know how you're supposed to... I mean, I guess I just did one. I guess as soon as it hits the wall, I need to move sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. I can work with that, I suppose. It does seem awfully fast, though. Though maybe I did speak too soon, considering I just got two in a row without too much problem. Too many problems? <laughs> God, I'm great with words. Um. Okay. Do we run into this one purposefully, perhaps? Because unless I miss something there, I'm a bit confused. Um, I don't know, should we just run into this one on purpose? Oh, okay, that did actually take us to level two. This is weird. This is, this, this spot is kind of weird. Wait, is that going faster? Seriously? Pretty sure it's going faster. Okay, at least we're still at level two. Okay, how close can we get? As soon as that... Oof. Alright. I wonder how... Okay, is that thing in there? This is a this is a rather weird change compared to the rest of it. Okay. So far, so good. Try to get as close as I can and then... As soon as it's past me. Go, go, go. Alright, that worked. Oh, shit. Alright. Hello. I was expecting more of those and at the end we'd, um, yeah, I wasn't expecting to actually end up in a, another uh, highway area. Hopefully we won't die. And is that ammo? Yes it is. Yes, I should, right, you got the thing, I, I'm just sort of like half looking at them, the ammo and that, and realizing, but now I actually realize, yes, they're quite different, aren't they? <laughs> what, this actually has like a little cash thing compared to uh, the health. Probably should pay a little bit more attention to such things, but it's fine. Yeah, like you see, it's got it's very different there. I just thought of like the green, and it didn't sort of really take in what I was looking at. I'm assuming we're gonna get the last piece up this way, and then have to head back, or get rid of you. Run out. Oh, no, we're doing a cow ammo. Get a health top up. Okay, there's more ammo here. That helps. I want to shoot faster, but I feel like um, it's easy to waste ammo if you start missing when you're shooting uh, rapid fire. Not too bad though. I do wish you could hold it in though. It is a, it's quite a lot of clicking. Oh, okay. Level 3. This is sort of weird, like, how the other two were just sort of out there and then you got this, like, whole thing to get the first one. 
like up the top there. We, we've already got the second and third. So, I don't know, it's kind of strange to me. Should we go here instead? Like, that's, oh, that's probably the better way to do it, isn't it? I think I was doing it the dumb way. Maybe? Like, as soon as it goes? Yeah, that's probably easier, isn't it? Oh, hello. Don't trust you. Grab. Thank you. Where does this take us? Oh, all the way back to level one. Okay, I can actually respect that design choice right there. It doesn't waste your time with it. That, I, yeah, I can appreciate that. It just makes me think of like uh, some JRPGs. I always like it when you have like, you go through a dungeon, you have some little scene and then it automatically takes you back to town. Like, I always love that versus like having to just sort of slug your way back through this dungeon for no reason that you've already cleared everything, seen everything sort of thing. Oh, all right, we still had a few of you guys here, didn't we? And I think we, it was this way, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's a, it's a little thing, but I, I genuinely appreciate that. Like, it's um, quite common that games don't do that, I think. But I think it's always better. Like, if you've cleared out an area, you know, just, just you know, off screen, walking back, like, it makes sense, you know? Doesn't uh, waste your time. And I do think we may have cleared the game already, though, which is one thing. Uh, it's possible there's more levels. I'm just assuming this is to be a really short game, but for all I know, this is level one of ten, like, so I shouldn't uh, jump ahead. But as I said, obviously, this is a really cheap game too, so that both makes my expectations lower. But I also don't want to be too harsh on criticism, you know. Criticize where like, I think the the text thing that's the biggest one I think is the most fair criticism to make regardless of anything else. But uh, we'll see what happens. Hello, are you a teleporter of some sort? It would seem so. Okay, we do have another level. So yeah, that, that immediately maybe I I should be um I should hold off in certain criticisms I have because I thought it was just going to be sort of repetitive on that thing but when you contrast like that being just level one now you got this underground environment it does definitely change some of what I said um, I think you know it, it definitely makes it seem more like it could be someone their first game type of thing because I, I think the lack of an animation here stands out quite a bit but in terms of the price and what is and stuff I think the text thing really is my only main criticism so far. The gun, certainly. Uh, I think, yeah, I, I think you could add some more weapons and things like that. Wouldn't be the most crazy amount of effort, but uh, it depends how much of this is unique versus um, uh, just assets you can buy or are free and stuff. Like, it's hard for me to make a judgment in that regard. Oh, this is a door. I wasn't sure if there was or not. Uh, but yeah, de definitely um, the fact that there is another... I, I just, yeah, I, I really got the... Um, impression that maybe it was only going to be that one level or something. Because I mean, for the price, you know, you can that that kind of stuff does happen on Steam, you know. Okay, can we undo these or anything? Okay, nothing going on there. And we check that one. Which way are we? I have a great sense of direction, as you can see. Although, yeah, it's going to be a bit harder to dodge them in here, isn't it? Anything in here? Okay, we got some health. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit that uh, They don't grab quite properly sometimes. And doesn't look like that door opens. What about you? Okay, we have ammo. Very nice. Yeah, I feel like even like adding in a pistol as like a backup weapon to this would be a small addition that could be good. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, I gotta say, my bad on one thing in regards to this is that I actually saw a screenshot showing this area, so that was a... Yeah, that, that's sort of a dumb moment for me, not realizing that. Obviously, we have to be somewhere else. I mean, I guess that area with level 1 could have went down to here, but I... You know, I, I should have realized there had to be at least some other different environment other than the uh, uh, highway stuff, so... Yeah, my bad. I, I definitely jumped ahead on some of the stuff I said, I think, but... Uh, as long as you make it through the whole video, it'll be okay. <laughs> that's, that's all I can really say. Uh, sorry if it like jitters a little bit sometimes, like like this. 
It's because I'm, I'm lifting my... I need to adjust my mouse pad, I think. I'm like lifting my hand slightly off the mouse and it's doing that. Uh, I think it should be okay now. I, I noticed I did that a few times there. Mouse pad was up a bit far. And anything in here? Guess this is where they store the cubes. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, possibly going the right direction. 20, 50, 60% chance I'm going the right way? Yes, there we go. As long as I find something to shoot, that means I'm in the right way. Okay. Hopefully you're not going to waste my ammo. Oop, there's some ammo. Very nice. And perfect. Right on 50. Is this, uh... Oop, same hallway. Okay. Oh, our health's getting a bit low, isn't it? Might have to be a tad more careful here. Mainly because I don't know how death is handled. I want to avoid it. Oh, okay. Well, we got some. Okay, I guess we have to find these three again. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, this, there may be some props to give this game. I, I think, uh, depending on how this shakes out in terms of levels and stuff, I think the biggest criticism that will remain for me is the... I think the guns and the lack of text, you know? Like, this is a very generic gun, I suppose you'd say. Like, it just is these single shot things, there's no variance to it. Um, and if the game does center around combat, like, I think even with working with, like, more uh, free or generic assets, there would still be something around, I think, with minimal effort that could add a little bit of variety there. Uh, like I said, it's not like you have to go too crazy with it, just, um, so I think a pistol would have been a good addition, just to sort of back up. Um, so yeah, let's see how we go. Nope. We're still, uh, our health's still a tad questionable. It's definitely easier with the uh, highway. Might have to actually try and start shooting a bit faster, which would be probably the way to go. Because that, yeah, that's probably the smart thing to do. Uh, although it does get, yeah, the, the ammo is a concern. Because you, you sort of get stuck if you have no ammo, eh? Um, let's see if there's anything around the corner to shoot. I don't want to grab that until it's down a bit further. Okay. Oh yeah, we're getting uh, a bit dicey on health. Thank you. Definitely needed that. No bonus second one here. No. <laughs> yeah, we got enough. Let's uh, check here, then go grab that ammo, I think. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll grab it. Like, it's been pretty good. It's only been a couple times where it's been a minor issue, so I think it's spread out okay. But uh, I don't know how that'll go if we keep doing the rapid shots, so we'll have to see. Alright, we... Yes, that was that one. Of course. <laughs> What's going on here? Blast that. Ooh, that got a bit bright. Yeah, definitely, uh, I think it's best to click faster. What else do we got? You don't turn around. Or maybe that's a strategy. Get behind them as they turn or something. I don't know. I think we're doing okay with shooting faster. Anything here? Okay. Got this thing. Which I'm sort of paranoid to touch the white thing. Oh man, it's sort of... It's, it's, uh, it's bright. Oh, very nice. Okay, again, that's a nice touch. No time being... Wait. Oh, you son of a bitch. I say that and I didn't grab it, did I? Really? Ah, oh, man. Which, uh... Did we go this way? I mean, I assume because it... I thought we went this way, though. I'm assuming not. No. Okay. Great memory. <laughs> Alright, I guess um, this was the way, right? Alright, I guess I'll, uh, I'll just run to that and catch up with you. Yeah, my bad on that one. Can't really fault the game. Although, uh, actually yes, I can fault the game it would seem. Because right now I am pressing E. <laughs> uh, so the, e, the prompt comes up further away than you can actually press it. So... Partial game fault, partial me, because I really should have noticed that I didn't grab it. <laughs> I think that's fair. Alright, let's go. Let's go for the green. Why not? Yeah, it's definitely uh, a little bit... If they're turned around, I don't know, maybe... Yeah, I think trying to go to the side of them is probably... I think that probably works. Let's grab some health. Very nice. 
Maybe some ammo over this way. Yes, there is. Uh, lose 25, but I, I think that would have been the thing too. I think this magazine should be like 250 or 300 or something. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't really see any reason why not sort of thing. It's, it's basically, it's not uh, too critically thought through, but you know, you are a bit limited on ammo. So I think being able to overstack it a bit would be good. Like maybe if you, you know, the 150 could be the default, like if you die, but you can overstack it type of thing. That's sort of how I meant that. Oh shit. Let's go in here. That's ammo again. All right. So I uh, take these out before we grab that. Very nice. Oh, what? Oh, there you are. Oh, I hope that's uh, it's a bit flashy like that. I don't know when you get up close. Oh, our health was actually getting down there. Let's quickly grab that. Ammo top up, thank you. And marching on. That, yeah, right, we just came out of that. <laughs> Anything in here? Oh, ammo. Okay. Let's see if there's some stuff we can kill. Oh man, gotta do that again. I think I might need to get a different mouse pad. I'm using one with like a wrist thing, but I noticed that that happens more, like, with my wrist up, I have slightly less control with the mouse. I don't know. It's, like, good for support, but I feel like my precision and that kind of thing doesn't happen when I'm using a flat one. Hmm. Something to think on. I'm probably better off, honestly, doing, like... That is totally unrelated, but I'm probably um, better off doing the wrist support one while I work, and then for gaming and recording, uh, in particular, not using it. Especially for these type of games. Like, some games obviously doesn't matter, but... Yeah. Alright, nice. Let's make sure we can grab it this time. And into the white light. <laughs> Two down, one to go. And once again, we're getting the first one last, it would seem. Okay, let's go up here. Shooty, 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 shooty. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this game a little more now. Like, um... I said, it's still a lower budget thing, obviously, it's, there is certain generic elements to it, like the gun, um, but it's, it's more than I thought it was going to be when we started, and I don't know if that was just like, I don't know why I kind of got so much into the idea that it was probably just like the one level thing, I think probably the price and the fact that the assets repeated so much and then combine that with the lack of like a text introduction, it just, uh, a few signs that things could not be as, uh, not be that great. Yeah, for lack of a more articulate way to put that. Uh, but honestly, like, I, I am liking a bit more of what I'm seeing. Oh, shit. I'm gonna grab that. Um, so there's still nothing fancy. I, I think that the, um, I think the most unfortunate part is that it does seem to be, like, other than text, which, you know, that, that's only a start thing, but more in the overall thing is that, it's very gameplay focused being shooting focused, but that seems to not have had a ton of work put into it, you know? Okay, we can go that way. Wait, was there... I'm confused now. Does this wrap around or something? Oh, okay, maybe. Okay. <laughs> All good. Uh, but yeah, sort of, I think with it being so combat focused, that's why you really would have wanted more than one gun. Sort of some options for that. You know, a few grenades could be lying around, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I could see some sort of stun thing for them. Um, I think also unfortunate with being that there's only a couple of enemy types so far that they don't have some sort of animation. Uh, but again, you know, it's uh, that, that's one of the ones where it's harder to judge based on the development situation could be one person just said things like that you know oh we're here got to this one faster than I expected I think it was because the blue one in the first one took a bit more all right let's put that down and I assume we will be on to the next level okay they don't look very friendly music's changed up a little are they locked or something or can we not Okay, can't get into those. Not too sure what's going on here. Is 
Do we do something here? Oh. We shoot them, Pop Hat, I think. Yes? Oh, you shoot straight through them. Alright. Need to be a bit careful on the ammo then. Wait, what? I died. Oh, do the turrets. Oh, okay. So let's keep moving, I guess. <laughs> Didn't realize that was a thing. Oh, grab that. Can we shoot them? Nope. Let's uh, grab that health. And start shooting. <laughs> and run. And blast. Although, what happens if you run out of bullets? I guess there's a few more there, but still. Okay. Blasted. Now what? Can we leave? Can we run? Uh, what do we do? Uh, am I missing something? Do we go back the way we came? Oh. Thanks for playing. Buying indie games you support solo developers. Okay, well that probably indicates it is a solo developer. Credits, game development, MC games, exterior building level one. Music, oh so, okay, yeah, so. Yeah, very, very small amount of people involved with this. So, which I guess this ends it. Okay, it does. All right, so, um, yeah, I, I guess my final thoughts would be, again, I like that I actually learned the fact that it is basically just a couple people who have been involved with it. And that combined with the price, I, I definitely have to give some credit. It's nothing crazy. Uh, I it, it's a it's a mixed one to judge, but because uh, one of the ones where you know I wouldn't play it other than doing it on YouTube. But I'm also happy that I did play it. You know, and um, I said I can always give um, a certain amount of respect to anyone who creates any finished product and puts it out there. And I do think there were a couple of little things that did, um, were positive to note. Like I, I really liked that there wasn't that time waste that once you got that thing, it jumped you back so you could move on sort of thing with those uh, little white panels that teleported you. Uh, in particular, the one in the first level I thought was good. Um, I did expect after getting the second level that it might have a couple more levels, which I think would have been good to see. Um, Cause I think the idea here could be fun, you know, storming the, uh, facility type thing or whatever um, but you know it would have been good with you know more enemy variety some more gun variety uh, but overall like I'm, I'm sort of judging it more towards if it's like a first game which I, I believe it is I didn't see any other listed under this title uh, under the developer title um, so yeah overall I guess my impressions are mixed but certainly not bad you know um, happy to have played it uh, certainly have you know criticisms for it but I think um, with that understanding, it really, the biggest thing is the lack of text. I, I do think it really is a fault when um, you, you only know basically the setup from reading the Steam description, like that, that's definitely something that I think could use correcting. Um, but yeah, just uh, I think that's really about all. Um, yeah, I don't know how, um, I don't know, I feel like a bit... <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I, I don't know how um, helpful any of my first impressions on this one has been. I think I was a bit mixed on it, like in, in the way I do it. I think I jumped ahead too much at the start and things, but uh, you know, it's all a learning thing for me, I guess, too, you could say. So, but yeah, if you're interested in this, uh, you know, check it out on Steam and yeah, it's going to do it for now. I'm glad that I got to finish it up and yeah, hopefully they can create something a little bit more uh, expansive in the future. But yeah, all right, if you happen to make it this far, I really do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed and hope you have a good day. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.